So I will confess, for about two years during college, I went to church. I'm not a Christian today, although I do love religion, and I've studied religion both in and out of school quite extensively. I won't go there because it's a constantly changing thing for me, and, and as I've gotten older, my views have radically changed, and that's not what this channel is about. But I, for two years, was involved in a Presbyterian church. I went to their Sunday services. We had a little rock band. We'd get up and dance. There was a saxophone player. It was fun. It was in an older church, and the minister was really cool. He was very intellectual, and I liked him a lot. And then they had a youth group on Friday nights. It was called The Inn, and it was this old church with a balcony, and we'd fill it, and we'd be singing in the dark, and it was, I loved it. And then I also was involved in our campus fellowship, and that was also Friday nights, so I moved back and forth. You'd have like 600 people showing up in this, it was a classroom on my campus. Maybe even, yeah, probably five or 600 easily packed in that room, and we'd be just singing songs, and, and I really enjoyed it. And then sometimes with my friends, I'd go to like mass, or there was Episcopalian church that had service. And I, I think at one point I was in church like four days a week just doing stuff, and I was involved in a mystic Bible study group, or it was a Bible study group with a mystic which I regret not paying more attention to now. And, you know, at one point I even thought maybe I'll keep the study going in beyond college because it was, religion was my minor, you know, become a minister like so many people dream. And then I went, yeah, uh, no, don't think so. Though I did date a minister at one point. So I have, I have some really fond memories, if you can tell, of my time involved in the church, even though today I'm theologically, uh, I consider myself Hindu, if anything. I saw a song by Ai Lee come up. And if you watch this, you know that I discovered, uh, was it the song Don't Teach Me? And I just fell in love with it. Amazed at her voice and everything about the song and the music. And so I saw the song I Could Sing of Your Love Forever, live performance by her. I know this song. We used to do this in church. I could sing of your love forever. Still enjoy listening to these big songs that I used to sing in the youth groups that I just mentioned. So this was one of them. Had to hear it. Didn't want to listen without the camera rolling. Really looking forward to hearing her vocals because she's so good. And this has been a very long rambling introduction to Eile. <laughs> so thanks for sticking with me. Here we go. I could sing of your love forever. I have not heard this song in years. Oh, this must be in church. It has the lyrics up. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love And this song builds forever. up, too. So she's going to just kick it I if she does that version. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, they're standing up. Language is good. So I've actually heard South Korea is heavy Christian. I always thought they were Buddhist, but I had a friend who moved there, and he was shocked by how Christian they were. And, and him, he had lived in Japan, where I was living with him. Got a great voice. It's really strong, and other parts very soft. Oh.
if this is the direction her career is going now, she found it. Dump that old hip hop dance stuff, girl. This is it. great i got nothing to say put your comments below let me know what you think that was awesome love seeing that she's an awesome singer absolutely awesome and i love the fact that she's just breaking you know uh the the boundaries doing things that's not your normal k-pop and just just letting it go what an amazing uh, amazing singer uh, she kind of stands out in my mind because i don't really review that many solo artists it's basically k-pop groups or folks who have splintered from k-pop groups and i don't think she has i think she is a solo artist through and through so anyways that was awesome i'm actually going to share it with a friend on facebook right now uh, my ex-girlfriend who's the minister and um so yeah thoughts comments all that good stuff below about eileen would you please would love to hear from you and god bless